Naples. Pretty sure that the wind's gonna be so bad I'm gonna have to voice over this whole thing, so. How many hooks total? Those are all your Those are mine. What's up, legendaries? You guys like being called legendaries? Leave it in the comment. I don't know. Stick in here. Let me tell you how a failed trip to go hunt shark's tooth ended up with us falling in love with the coolest fish ever. We're talking about peacock bass, the big P, the P. Okay, so this is gonna be a multi-part series that we'll call Expedition Peacock. And we're gonna travel all over South Florida from Naples to Fort Lauderdale to Miami. Multiple trips, multiple fishing uh, holes and try to tackle the elusive peacock. See, every weekend we get together as a family and figure out what we wanna do. We pick an activity and then we travel and see what we can find and what Florida has to offer. Today, we're in Venice at Casperton Beach. We're going to do some, some, some what? Shark tooth hunting. She said shark tooth hunting. So, I guess we're gonna go sift in the sand. I made these fancy little things right here out of aquarium lids. It wasn't great. We didn't enjoy it. We like looking in the riverbeds better for them. It's a lot more fun to us. Uh, we were already an hour and a half away from home. I asked Jessica, my beautiful wife, if uh, she wanted to drive another hour and a half and go try to catch some peacocks because we have a trip coming up in a couple of months. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna target peacocks, clown knifefish, and snakeheads. My wife supports dang near everything, and she said, "Yes, let's do it." We've heard Naples had them. They did. You got it back there. So this. Urban fishing, Taco Bell. We pulled in a Taco Bell and there is a ditch, a, literally a drainage ditch running beside Taco Bell. We looked into it and there were peacocks everywhere. We, we saw peacocks and we saw Oscars. And live bait is absolutely what you should use. Uh, shiners is what the experts say to use. We didn't have shiners and we didn't have anything live uh in the areas where these are is all limestone it's all rocks all big rocks boulders uh they'll shred a net whether it's a dip net or a cast net so that was out of the question for 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 taco bell we're doing the bait trap and trying to pull them out i mean as soon as we we have five minutes of of the bait trap marinating we get one bait out, hook it, throw it out, lose it. Boom. We're not good at this. This is our first time ever going peacock bass. We have no instruction. So we're doing the best we can. We don't know a lot about catching, catching these peacock bass. So finally, boom. I, I've just, I've seen them getting, knocking themselves off the hook. I've seen it in videos where they get off constantly. So I'm just trying to keep tension on the line. I'm bringing it in and I kind of walk it up the boat ramp and pull it up. And it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the videos and the pictures I've seen did it no justice at all. When you're holding that thing and you're seeing the sun reflect off of it and you're seeing the beautiful colors of green, yellow, orange, and red in it. and I, it's, it's indescribable and no video does it justice. So we catch it and, and, and then, then let it go. That was it. The rest of the trip, the rest of the day, 
we're, that's us. We're, we're robbing Peter to pay Paul. We're trying to catch enough bait to fish with. And we came home. Jess, at this point, isn't very happy with me uh, because she didn't land any. I'm stoked. I am beyond words because I caught one. I got one up on land. And after a trip where you're, you're hooking all those and, and, and you, 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 you only land one, you still landed one. We thought about it all week. And then, and then we went back down. A week later, we are like, all right, let's go. Now, if we go straight from our house and don't stop at the shark tooth hunting place, it was only two hours and 20 minutes. That's it. To Naples. We go back to the same place. We take our friend Jared with us. And we get out there, and it is nonstop. Now, the difference between that time and this time is... Before we got on the road, we stopped at our local pond and caught a bunch of tilapia. We're out here, it is five o'clock in the morning, and we are getting some bait for the day. I love you. Jessica caught one. I was about to throw in and I hear her yelling that hey, get over there because she had one on the line. Let's see how pretty that thing is. Oh, that's a pretty one. Here, hold on. Here. Jared, did you finally get her? Oh, she's cute. Get it, get it, girl, get it. Let, let it run a little bit. Oh, that is a big one. That may, oh, look at the knot on that sucker. Hold on, bring it, bring it to, take it to, uh, to Jerry. That is a good one. Those are all your Those your are my hooks. looks, I know. From today? Yes. I told you that he was, where, see? We said it was a big fish. Yeah, at least you got my hooks back. Right? <laughs> yes. There you go. That's a good bullseye right there. That's a good bullseye. Heck yeah. Legendary Florida woman, check that out. Get it out of the water? Yeah, he did. They all flared. Good job. Good fish. Thanks for the hookup on the spot. Don't jump in the water with it. Came off the hook on his own. Nice. Good fish, baby. No fillet and release today. Go Thank on to you, babe. go on to fight some more, baby. Scoop him up, give him some. It's a big boy. Hold him up until he can 
hold him up, hold him upright until he can do it on his own. There you go. Give him a little shh, shh, shh. Hold him by the base of the tail, like right at the skirt of the tail. Yep, right there. And run him back and forth to get water and air in his gills. There you go. Now push him a little bit. There he is. Yep, he's waking up. Good boy. Good job, dude. Hey, guys. If you've gotten this far, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Do us a favor and support the channel by hitting the like or subscribe button or both. And set your notifications so that you don't miss volume two. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot. Enjoy Expedition Peacock. So, just a quick comment. Leave it down in the comments below. What do y'all do when your wife kicks your butt fishing? <clears throat> because mine has been kicking my butt all day I gotta go pull another big pee off of her her line oh that one's pretty there you go bro I'm killing the peas today K killing her husband today you know what man you you are a horrible horrible spouse no I'm just kidding I love Sorry. seeing you catch me, guys. Did you? You know what? You got a, a hidden Mickey ears. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Hidden Mickey. Right there. All right. Stop gloating. Put it back in the damn water. I love you. Good job. Thank you. Look. It's getting to the point where you caught so many, many of them. I'm going to stop running when you catch them now. And there she goes. Well, as you can see, this day, Jess kicked my butt. El, almost everyone she caught was over 17 inches. She caught some of the largest, well, she caught, uh, she caught the largest peacock basses. Ah, bass, basses? I don't, I don't think it's really important. You guys aren't watching this because of how good of a linguist I am. So, Jess, Jess caught, ended up caught, catching five or six. And they were all huge. Uh, Jared and I caught some smaller ones. Uh, and we brought them back. We brought four back for a special project. We also ended up catching one... Uh, we ended up catching one Oscar that we didn't get film of, but you guys will see him soon enough.